Well, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, or I guess just Happy Day, Happy Night, Happy Evening, Good Morning to you. Uh, it's Today is actually the 22nd of December. By the time this goes up, it should be 23rd or 24th, 25th maybe of December. And I I got some... My beer isn't quite where I was hoping it would be. It's only been growing for about two months. It's not quite where I was expecting. I wanted to... Not, it's, about, it's what I was expecting, but I was hoping for a little bit more out of it. But I got myself a little bit of Beard Lights for the uh, for the week. I've been playing with them a little bit. I haven't committed to using them for anything outside of this video or other videos, but I'm thinking like in real life, am, am I going to use them for anything? And the answer is possibly. I did sign up for Corex Revenge because I've never done it before on this character anyway, and I thought it might be kind of fun. Um, but I'm kind of... I'm sort of hesitant because if I jump into the war campaign, I feel like that sort of messes this up. Like if I start the war campaign and this pops, it'll I don't know if it'll keep me in the same spot in the war campaign quest. So I'm kind of going to give it to the moment and see if around the two minute mark it does its thing and gets me in there. And then if not, I might, uh, what? And then if not, I might just go ahead and just get into the, into that. Uh, I need a vendor anyway. I think there's a vendor on the boat. Maybe? It should be, right? I'd be sort of surprised if there's not. Oh, hey, correct Revenge, limited time event. All right, let's do it. Okay, the old school AV. What's the reward? Wand of Biting Coal. That's a nice wand. Time Warp badges and a bunch of experience. If I'm gonna... Cool. Alright, all. Welcome. Oh. Already known. I've already got the Storm Peg Contigna. I'm... Uh, yeah. What other toys are over here? I can sell my junk here. It's nice. How did I already have this? Do I have this from my... Because I already picked it up on my rogue. Uh, let's kill Korak. I'm really curious to see how this turns out. So, in classic Altrek Valley released not that long ago, maybe now it's been... Um, how long has it been? I guess it's been two weeks almost. It'll be two weeks another day or two. Um. Hooray! Where? Um. I asked if we can kill Korak, obviously. Amphitheater of Anguish. Huh. Don't know what that is. Uh, what does he say? This is Zoldrek. Zoldrek. Uh, Amphitheater of Anguish. I don't really need Korak, to be honest. I'm gonna be curious to see what happens here. Um, I've never played Alliance side Alteric Valley. Spawn location looks the same. This all looks pretty much the same. Yeah, they take the usual route, go this way. Now, so it's interesting. Uh, I mean, Classic it launched. In the first few days, the Alliance were crushing the Horde. All they would do was rush straight to Drek'thar, and we would always lose. Um, but then, in a week, about a week went by, less than a week, and Horde started winning a lot more. A lot more. And the whole strategy of the Horde is to defend. I actually have a video that should be out now that discusses what I think is the way for the Horde to win. But around the time I made that video, before I published it even, the Alliance started making pre-made raid groups because they kept losing. And they started making pre-mades to organize, to be, to be more organized in discords ahead of time, like cross-realm organized pre-raids. And it just became a little insane, to be honest. I like a hair in my mouth. There it is. It was a beard hair. Gross. So, uh, yeah, so it's been really interesting watching the meta sort of trans 
form. Is Korak even up yet? Probably not. I think he usually doesn't spawn right away, right? Um, anyway. Stone Hearth, Stone Hearth Bunker's under attack. This sounds about right. I have no idea. I, I haven't played this guy in a little bit. I've been behind on this character. You probably are well aware. As it is, I barely play him, it seems like. But um, I've been especially behind lately. <laughs> Someone grabbed Snowfall. Why'd you do that? Snowfall is sort of unnecessary. Okay. I think we're doing the Alliance strategy of just... Are we just rushing? We lost most of our squad, I think, anyway. Um, these bowmen hit hard. Look, Christmas trees are up. Cute, cute. Getting some reputation, yeah. As a warlock, I can probably do some cool stuff here. Let me show you what I think I want to do. It just depends how long these guys will last. How long does my baller infernal hold these guys? Oh no. Apparently not long enough. I'm a little I, I'm a little surprised the Infernal didn't hold aggro. Okay, that was much different than I expected. Well, that stinks. Destroy them. Huh. So my in, my vision was Infernal distracts and I cap, but apparently that doesn't work. I don't really understand why they turned around and attacked me. I'm not sure if. In vanilla, capping a flag does not generate threat, or generates very little if it does. I don't think it generates any threat. Yeah, they don't seem to know. This is a really rough uh, random group. <laughs> so um, what usually happens in vanilla is we rush to kill... What they line to do is rush to kill... Oh, hey, who's this? Where is this guy? Oh, oh my gosh, that's a lot of alliance. That's that's a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, I found the alliance. Or, that's a lot of horde. Oh my gosh, I'm an alliance character. To this day, I still mix this up all the time. I know, I really do know that I'm alliance. But worgens, I always think of them as being horde. I've always thought that. I picked the worst race for my character in terms of just forgetting what which side I'm on. Blood Elves do it to me too. I always think of Blood Elves as being Alliance. Always. And I just consistently forget that. So where are all of us? Like, what is happening? There's a few people back here on defense. It's fine. There's a bunch of smattering here. I don't even see... Oh, there they are. Okay, the pack is up there. Got it. Okay, okay. They're all bunched up quite heavily there, which is fine. That's good. They should be on offense. Um, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Totally fine. Oh boy, here we go. What am I gonna do? Besides, probably die. We'll see. It's a lot of alliance. Horde. It's a lot of horde. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Oh, that was cool. What did that guy actually cast on me? I don't know. Oh, I'm getting wrecked here. It's a f yeah, yeah. So, um, I've never PvP'd on this guy, if you haven't noticed. I, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do. Besides, obviously I should DPS people. Um, I mean, like, obviously. But, and I know Mortal Coil is really handy. Fear is really good. Obviously, we want to try and fear spam people as much as possible. All of that. But, oh, this is different here. It's shortened. I, think, I feel like you... It's a little bit different of a layout. I thought normally it's farther back, this, like there's like an indent there. Huh. I guess I'm on defense now. Honor. 
Am I getting experience for this? I guess I'm probably getting some experience. Maybe not. Maybe I don't gain experience in Alteric Valley. Um, so I've never played Alliance in Alteric Valley, so it's kind of hard for me to know what, what it's like, you know, exactly what's the best plan here. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Whoa, that was a lot of experience. That was a lot of experience. Um, oh, they haven't kept yet. Oh, here they go. Now they're going to cap it. I'm going to get ported back, probably. Yep, there we go. So I never really realized this. How do I check my experience when I'm in something like this? This is on level 60. Did I just max out? Or does it, does it just like port me to 60 on the basis of being closer to 60 than 59? Did I just ding one? <laughs> Did I just max out? Did I just hit 120 and don't realize it? Level 1, okay, 118, there it is. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Alrighty then. Ooh, that seems like a good idea. I like that idea a lot. Let's do one of those. How do I... You know what? I don't know how to... Uh... I need a target. To oh, that's their demonic gateway. I see how it is. Okay. Well. Get him. Um, yes, yeah, so that's a really nice demonic gateway they got there. How do I, how do you destroy a demonic gateway? That seems pretty nice. Um, let's... <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, this is, this is also different. The Frost Wolf Relief Hut, normally you res farther back, so I guess they change it at some point in vanilla, or in, since vanilla. Um, let's kill this guy if we can. Some chaos bolts going. That might. I did a lot. Oh, he got away. He got away. Okay, that's fine. What is this? How? I don't know what this move is. I um, apparently I'm just not familiar with how this game works at all. But I don't know what that is. It summons me to them. Like I'm not sure what class that is. It's doing that even. I need to pay more attention. That's pretty rough. Yeah, our offense is super slow. So it. I just think it's funny that I play horde in vanilla, or in classic, who tend to lose. Ooh, that hurt. I just like ripped this out of my, my little... I forgot they're down there. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, that's not worth fighting. Okay. Um, trying to get something moving here. So I'm trying to defend this this bad boy. Let's uh let's confuse the enemies. Alright, now they're not gonna know what's happening here at all. It's perfect. Yeah, um Okay, Grimthick's out there doing some stuff. Good for him. Good for him. Build up some more soul shards on this. I have... Let's dump this down. What's hitting me? Oh, that guy's hitting me. I was like, where, where am I getting blasted from? These health stones have come in handy already. I'll say that. Let's make a few more. Um... This is looking bad for us. <laughs> that was looking really bad. Uh, I'm not feeling good about this one. Okay, I was trying to take out whatever that was. It was a pet or what? Let's fear something here. Don't really care what I fear, let's just fear something. There we go. I'm gonna get this guy for sure. He's dead. He's dead. Can't handle the chaos bolt. This is fun. I like this. Let's get an emulate on that guy.
Alright, let's pop. And an unending resolve. Let's uh, mortal coil that guy. Hey, I lived. That was cool. I want a health stone, but I can't. Item not yet ready. Sad. Alright, let's do this then. That's something to drain life on. Oh, no, dead. Alright, I was in the wrong key. That was my bad. What did I... Level 118, okay. I'm worried I'm going to ding and not recognize it. <laughs> like, after all these years... Oh, whoa. Whoa. Chill, dude. Oh my gosh. Make it stop. What am I doing, y'all? At least I dropped some rain of fire on him. I, w I don't know what that is. I need to figure out what that is, because that thing is really... Um, kind of insane to me. I'm going to interrupt this guy as soon as I can. I think he's trying to cap. But I can't... I got a res. He's going to cap it before... I think it's a 10 second cap once it's changed. All right. Yeah, no, I'm standing and stuff. Can't help it. Oh, well, I tried. I tried. I'm gonna get. We're definitely losing this point now, and they're um, kind of port us back to our spawn. Is where I think we go. How are the alliance so slower than the horde? So much slower. Oh, snowfall. Okay, well, that's that's even worse. Yeah, oh, that's 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 probably GG. Did they already capped the tower. Those things go fast. I thought it was five minutes and yeah. <laughs> Twenty one thousand experience. What did I get the experience for? Dumbler South Bunk was destroyed by the horde, and that gives that give me experience. Is that right? I don't I don't know if I follow. And my honor. How do I already have? Oh, honor. Okay, okay. I was thinking his reputation. Well, oh, hey, it's Korak. Can I solo Korak? I'm guessing not. Oh, he's immune to stun, so that's probably not gonna. Or fear, that's not gonna happen. And he's got a lot of health. All right, well, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, Van is super, super gonna get wrecked in a moment. Well, this has been fun. <laughs> I think I'm ready to. Uh, to get out of here. Let's just kill this thing. You know, let's do this. I'm just gonna kill a mob and just be happy with my mob kill. <laughs> um, you know, so I've played a lot of Alteric Valley in Classic recently. I got exalted in about a week and a half, which is a lot of... It gets pretty rapid, to be honest. Um, getting some experience though, which is nice. But... Anyway, so, no, um, I played a lot of Alteric Valley recently. I actually really like Alteric Valley. I think it's a great instance. I personally um, really have a lot of fun in there, even with like some of the shenanigans of like the... Um, oh, who's that? Frostwolf Soldier's Metal, okay. Um, I'm in combat. There we go. Even with the shenanigans of it being like the 1.12 version of the game, which is fine, but Rich Thorium Vein, oh man, classic. Take some of that. Arcane Crystal, yeah. Thorium War? No, that's fine. The game is about to end, I think. I don't know how to check my... How to check Vandar's health. I only see Drek'thar's health. I'm surprised I don't list both. I'm going to list Drek'thar. But... Did I just ding? Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. I don't even know what experience... I wasn't even paying attention to what experience I gained. Well, the level 119. Um... How, how fast am I going to ding one? T Did I do Alteric Valley already? I'm suddenly having this moment of realization that I've done Alteric Valley on this character. As soon as I dinged, I was like, oh yeah, I've been in here. I level really fast in Alteric Valley. Right? How did I forget that? That's bad. <laughs> I, I leveled like two times in... I leveled that... I remember this now. I had this thought. I was like, I'll do Alteric Valley for a little bit this episode because it's like a snowy, cold, Christmassy kind of environment. That'd be kind of fun for the holiday season. And that makes a lot more sense. I'm I've almost 100% sure I've done this on a character now. Duh. It's been about probably a month and a half. Maybe a month. But I did do that. I leveled like two times in one go. Huh. <laughs> Okay, well, 
Now that I'm, as soon as I dinged, I was like, wait, I've done this before. This is very familiar to me. Sorry if I just repeated everything I said the first time through. That's a cool mount, by the way. Glacial Tide Storm. I've never seen that before. That's neat. Okay, so we're getting close. Let's go to Halford Wormbane. I feel so stupid. And do the Xandalar campaign map to review the final foothold, okay? We have established two critical footholds in Xandalar. The time has come to establish the third. Let's review the battle plan when you're ready. Nazmir, let's go. Foothold Nazmir. Chosen to sail the Nazmir, that's true. Let's go. The company Bran. 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 I'd say Bran. To Fort Victory in Nazmir. We sent troops with Captain Conrad ahead to Nazmir to gain a foothold in that hellish jungle. The reports we're receiving of the local troll population are disconcerting. They ran over their heads, Superlock. I have Bran Bronzebeard prepared, prepped, and ready to head out. Accompany Bran. Bran? I don't say Bran, but it's Bran. Bran to Nazmir so we can secure our position. The wind's redemption is at your disposal. Alright. Cool. We might ding here. I will quickly say, I won't spoil anything. I'm I'm very keen on not spoiling things for people. This is a cool entrance. I like it. Anywhere your hackles raise, there is an opportunity for adventure and the prospect of knowledge. We sent Captain Conrad ahead to build a fort. They say the blood trolls here might even be willing to trade, but I cannot imagine they'd come at a price worth paying. That would come at a price worth paying. Heroes don't die, they revive. <laughs> this is true. Still, <laughs> this here's a land that works against the Zandalari and their horde associates. The enemy of your enemy is your weight. What's the saying? No matter, look, listen. Keep those sharp eyes peeled. Unforgiven lands aren't known to forgive the unweary. Superlock. And ugh, keep your nostrils pinched. What's the foul as death rotten stench? <clears throat> Looks like our welcome party is here. Harry's an interesting one. Don't pay him no mind. Okay. I don't see Harry. Oh, there he is. That's Harry. I thought it was a player character. Welcome. We've been expecting you, our esteemed advisors and future fast friends. Captain Conrad let m left me with instructions. Cool. Get rid of this thing here. Ah, ha, ha, right to the point. Yes, yes. Oh, he just... Did he just... Portal over here? Interesting. Uh, let's grab the flight point. So I want to say... This, okay. Let's talk to Mr. Bronze Beard. I've wrestled with a death worgen. It's the most unexciting contest you can imagine. Alright, no sign of the captain. What's going on? Nothing untoward, I assure you. Untoward? Untoward. Our glorious captain is off negotiating trade agreements with the local trolls. Heard they were savages, what practice bloody sacrifices. Oh heavens, well indeed yes, I suppose that is accurate, mmm. But Captain Conrad is a glory to behold, impressive, no doubt. Trade agreements with trolls. We even have bats prepared to send another trade offering to Zal Zalamar. Blast that. They won't get another red copper from us before me and Superlock go see what's what. Okay. I'm gonna go see what's what. Take a bat from Fort Victory to Zalamar and Nazmir. Uh, can they be? Sh oh, can they be sure of the wisdom of this Captain Conrad? Send in our own on these blood troll bats with offerings. Something about this thinks more, more in an armpit after a bar fight. I dig it. I love the way he talks. It's a little hard to read it though. If you ever try to read those things out loud, I mean seriously, there's so many characters in WoW that if you read their text out loud, especially the trolls, for example, it's a little, it's a little tough, like, I don't know, I just, um, trolls aren't as bad, dwarfs are harder for me, in my experience, I, I, from, from doing this character for so long, it's difficult for me to read the, um, dwarf text the most, it's a big dude, someone's killing that verse one. So we're heading way over here to dubious offerings that we're working on. Okay. So I won't spoil anything. I'm really cautious about that. I did see the new Star Wars 
I liked it. That's as much as I want to say. Um, I don't want to get into details, but you know, you can see a lot of people have liked it. A lot of people have hated it. I think it's very, um, I don't want to say conflicting, but I think there's a lot of, uh, it's either you kind of liked it a lot, you hated it a lot, it seems like. And I think it largely depends on whether you're a hardcore Star Wars fan or not. But I enjoyed it. That's it. I don't want to spoil anything. My blood for Gahoon. That's interesting. Alright, Fort Victory Footman. It's a corpse? Oh, it's... I thought it was a dude sitting. <laughs> nope, just a corpse. I wasn't built for falling that far. The only part of me that doesn't hurt is me hat. Alright, spooky chanting in the next room can only mean one thing. Someone's asking for the old what... What fur? Defeat Blood Witch Pakala. I'd give you a hand, but I gotta drink a couple of potions... <laughs> a potions before I'm back on my feet. Take out that Blood Witch and, bet, and I bet that magic will dissipate. And recover seven dog tags from the Victory Fort Soldiers, okay. Sure, let's do that. What I really want, though? I want... Grim Thick back. He's a thicky for sure. Oh. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to hit max level on this episode. I'm considering splitting it because I want to maybe talk a little bit about 120. I could do like a kind of an intro to that episode. Um, but We'll see. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really excited to hit max level. I want to. I've got a list of things from the last video. I think it was the last video. I asked some people for advice on what to do at 120, and one of the more timely ones is to do the, the Nefarian mount, which I think I can still do if I hurry. Um, and I think that's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's one of the things I'm most gonna try to do before it runs out. Um, let's do this. Uh, can I just pull this thing now? Probably. Is, I, I don't know if it was going to aggro like this whole room, but apparently it's not. Uh, yeah. So, oh, she just disappeared. Right? Is she going to pop? Oh, I see. Gotcha. I thought she was, that was like the end of the fight. Like she was teleporting away or something, but no, not quite. Not quite. Yeah, so you probably can tell from the video title whether or not this is a level of uh, the video where I hit max level, but I don't think it's gonna be. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna not hit max level now, and uh, next episode we'll do that. But yeah, I've been excited, and I wanted I've got some things in mind of what I want to do at 120. I think I'm gonna try and get the Nefarian pet. I want to finish up the chapter quests for this. It's a big thing. Hi, hey, hey, I know that from Hearthstone. <laughs> um, let's get another dog tag. Where am I missing the other one? It's a big thing. I need to go turn in this quest, but I want to get another dog tag. I'm just, oh, monolite seems. Are these over here too? No, it's this. I'll grab this. Uh, I'm apparently missing one of these soldiers. There must be another one. I want to do the quest. Maybe I ran right by it. Is there one behind me? Oh, there, there's one. Okay. I just sort of made the assumption that there was going to be a, a longer, like I was going to, I didn't need to look around this room so I thought there'd just be more of them up ahead, but apparently not. All right. Uh, honoring the Fallen. 24,000, 25,000 experience. And Blood of Hyreek. Slay 10 Zalmar Zealots in the fall. Okay. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Sure. Wait, what? Are these the same things? Okay, these are not the zealots. So where am I going? We're gonna have to go back the other way, I guess. Let me. I didn't actually read that quest all the way. Slay in the fall. This is the fall. Okay. Blood. 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 
Apparently, this is not the right way. Go back this way. I'm legit. Like. Oh, I how did I not see this? <laughs> it's like, where am I going? Okay, I'm an idiot. I, I did not see this whatsoever the first time through. I mean, like, legitimately did not see that at all. Um, I don't know how I missed that. I got followed by one of those guys, it's okay. Yeah, was that always there, that opening? I was not paying any attention. Okay, well, that was stupid. Um, so once I get that mount, I think I want to get the Nefarian mount if I can, right? So that'd be kind of cool, because I think it's time limited. I think it ends January 2nd or so. Should have time. I, I don't think it's an insane amount of work to get that done. Then I also want to complete the war campaign if I haven't if, by then. Um, I want to complete the chapter quest that I'm on right now in this zone, in the zone I was in before I came over here. Um, I want to... Um, and then I've got a list of other things that I, I I've been clipping comments. So I've been trying to get better of um, people that are on like my higher tier, my Patreon can see this. Oh, I missed that was completely that was stupid. Um, people that are, have my higher tier Patreon have access to my Google Drive, and my Google Drive I show a lot of the clipped comments. Um, pretty much all the clipped comments I keep in a folder on there. You can kind of see what I'm looking at. I read almost every comment and I reply to almost every comment, even if it's it's in waves, I usually sit down for like an hour once every month or a few weeks, but the um... But, uh, the ones that stand out as something someone suggests, I'm like, wow, that's a really good idea, I wanna, I wanna not forget that. I try to get in the habit of just clipping those comments, um, and sticking them in that folder, and then I review them later. That's, so that's why I've got the Nefarian mount, I think it's Nefarian. Um, in mind, and uh, there's a bunch of other things people suggested are really helpful. It's actually great. <laughs> it's exactly what I was looking for, and I asked for suggestions a couple episodes back. Where's the place in the world are all dark holes with no artifacts about? Yeah. Take a bat to Fort Victory. Okay, let's get out of this hole. Hairs on the back of my neck won't settle down. Alright, let's get out of here. Did I not accept that? So let's accept that. Okay, he's in combat now. I can't. So I hope everyone's had a nice holiday season, and Thanksgiving's come and gone now, it's been a while, obviously, and uh, we're looking at Christmas time for most people in the U.S., and I don't know about, um, you know, depending where you're at, you might be celebrating something completely different, but, or even if you're in the U.S., you very well are celebrating something different, but I hope you're having a nice winter season, if it's, assuming you're in the northern hemisphere. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I just, I like this time of year a lot, I, uh... I'm fortunate to have good family and friends, mostly family. I don't have that many friends that I hang out with, to be honest. I mean, I have a few very close friends that I see when I can. Most of them are back in my hometown. Um, and I hang out with all my friends from work from time to time. But I guess as I got older, I spend more of my time with family than friends, which is kind of the opposite of what it used to be. When I was a teenager, I almost for sure spent more time with friends than family, if I could help it. Um, then over time, that's nothing wrong with that. I think my interests change and I want to spend more time with family than friends now. So, um, I've always been fortunate to be one of those people that can make friends really easily. Like, I never had problems having friends. I do remember a few classes, like in middle school, where I... It was like in a class where I didn't know anyone. I remember in those classes being pretty quiet and not necessarily talking to people much. But then I had friends in other classes. Um, so it kind of just depended, but I never thought, I never felt like I couldn't make friends. It was usually pretty easy for me to chat people up and I guess people seem to kind of like me. So, not everyone. <laughs> Most people I think find me tolerable at least. So, um, point being, I always had friends in school, I was really fortunate about that. I know in high school and middle school, 
be so tough for people that, especially people that get bullied. I never really got bullied. Like I, I, I gave people crap and they gave me crap in like kind of a like friendly way, um, but not. I never felt bullied whatsoever. And um, so I was, that was, dude, bullying sucks, man. I I saw people get bullied. I didn't understand it as a kid in high school or middle school, but as an adult, like looking back, I don't know. Those kids went through some some tough stuff. We're on our bat. We're getting out of here. Looks like we're um, free and clear. I have this like sinking feeling when I get shot down. <laughs> like literally, someone's gonna just like snipe us and we're gonna get shot down. It's a very long flight to fly back. <sighs> um. Yeah, so I guess I'm sweating a little bit. That's gross. I apologize. This shirt shows sweat really, really easily. Like really, really easily. That's my uh, what am I assuming? It's too bright in here now, it's like harder to see them, but they are green. They actually are pretty solid red and green if it's like not really bright, but they've got some sunlight, a lot of sunlight over there and my lamp's on. And I turned off the room light today, so it looks a little bit different, but yeah, so. Anyway, um, yeah, but I really hope everyone's having a nice holiday season. I've, I made a video last year about Christmas time offering people, I just kind of wish people happy, Merry, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, and I think I said, um, if you if you wanted to to reach out to me, you know, if you're someone that doesn't have anyone to talk to over the Christmas season, or you do have people to talk to, you just want to chat. Um, let me find this real quick. I want to make sure we got this right. The easiest way to get a hold of me um, is probably on Twitter in a direct message at Supasoka Gaming, or you don't have to like follow me. I don't care if you just want to message me. My my DMs are open. I'll I'll get the message. Um, or on Discord, it's Supa S O U P A. 9122 super pound symbol or hashtag whatever you want to call it 9122 and if you my dms are open on there also so you can friend request me or just dm me and i'll see it um but if you want to chat over the holiday season you're feeling a little down when it's chat with someone send me a message um i might not get back to you immediately but i will get back to you for sure and i'm happy to chat so that's my my offer to you if you just want to see what's up for a little bit and pick my brain on something okay Flight from the Fall. Fort Victory's got this got the wrong name. Something like Fort Folly seems more appropriate to me. What's this all about, Harry? Those offerings you were sending, those soldiers were sacrificed. Blood drained from their bodies like a muggo ale at Brewfest. Oh my goodness. Surely the esteemed Captain Conrad had no knowledge of these macabre circumstances. Knowledge or no, it's time to get to the bottom of this of this. Where does Captain head off to? Zul Nazman, I believe, or Tolvor. In fact, I believe they are one and the same, or nearly so. I do not trust this guy at all. His name's Silvermoon Harry. <laughs> it's like in quotes. Meet Bran at Zul Nazman in Nesmir. <laughs> He's also like, I'm not sure if I like this Harry fella. Me either. Me either. All right, how do we get over there? Do we just run there? Is that? I have to hoof it. What is this? Wait, hold on. Who am I to hoof this? What's my plate on this character? Five days, two hours, seven minutes. Solo. Considering I started this guy in like, I think I started this character in May of 2017. I never used heirlooms. I did use a couple things. Like I've got like the, the WoW 15th anniversary experience gain. There's a few things like that that have come up. But I've never gone out of my way, I think, to get XP boost. Um, I've done some things like I did Altrek Valley, now that I remember this, uh, a couple episodes back, and that gave me a lot of experience, but yeah. Ooh, Storm Silver Deposit. I never know which ones are rare anymore, but every now and then I get comments on my videos, like, <sighs> Supa, like, sees some vein or some mineral node or herb and ignores it, but it's such, a, and then, like, they're like, Face palm. So now I'm trying to get more in the habit of just mining everything just in case. But I don't even know what I'll do with it anyway. Whoa, whoa. I did not realize that was a gap there. Wait. I don't know if I wanted to go like this. This is uh, slightly terrifying. I am off. Is there like a road here? I am off the path. 
this is not what I wanted. Then I'm like looking around, I was just like running, like, oh, this makes sense, let's run this way. And I'm looking at it like, no, this is probably not what I wanted to do. Okay. There, okay, okay. I, I almost ran off into this, like, like just down this thing. This is a cool area, by the way. Holy cow. Okay. I'm starting to believe we're on a corpse run here. Yes, I've, I've done that before. Kill 15 Nazmani trolls in Zul Nazman. Okay. And offerings to Gahoon. Destroy eight offerings to Gahoon. Okay. Alright. So we're going to kill some things. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Get that guy off of my buddy there. I've always felt ever since I think it was patch 7.2.5, I've always really felt Chaos Bolt is so cool. <laughs> like, like so good. And I do have, to be fair, um, focused chaos, which makes it even more insane. But yeah, um I always felt like it's quite cool. These guys are hitting Grimthick quite hard, to be honest. I've lost him a few times now. Has he lived through this? Oh, he died. Last hit. Sad. Alright, Grimthick, we got you. He's back. Um, where are these offerings you need to destroy? I don't actually see them anywhere. I'm kind of thinking in this hut. It seems very possible. No, nope, don't see him. Where are they? Are they, um... Start with this. Blood, blood, blood. Okay. Let me read this to make sure I got this right. Big glowing jars. I don't see any big glowing jars. What? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, so it must be here. It must be here. Okay. There? Is that it? Or is this just like a buff? What is this? Damage dealt increased by 30%. Haste increased by 10%. Damage taken increased by 30%. Well, that's good to know. That's a lot of damage, though. Oh, there's the jars. Okay, I might have missed one in that other room, too, then. I'm guessing there's one in there. Um, whew, those Chaos Bolts hit hard. I'll go back to that other room. I'm sure there was one in there I wasn't paying attention. Like, I just somehow missed it. Because it seems like that's the exact same room layout. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I was looking down on, like, the ground level here, and I... Like at this type of a jar, or the jar that was down there, but I obviously overlooked it. Um, all right, let's keep moving. So, yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna stop this episode before we ding, and I'm so excited to ding. This is so cool. I am really excited about this. It's just I, I don't know if I sound excited, but I really am. It's been a long time, and I've I know I've been playing really casually. Uh, and I could have done this in like five days played if that's what it took. I could have done this in Probably half a year at a river at a very reasonable pace, right? Like that would not be an unreasonable pace to do five days played I could have done that pretty easily I don't really need these guys, but it sounds kind of fun uh, I guess that bonus bonus damage doesn't last very long. It seems like it already ran out um but yeah, I could have done that in half a year, and that wouldn't have been an unreasonable pace, right? So it would have been 180 days, and um, it would have been, let's say, about 3% of my time to do that. Because I think 1.8 days would be 1%, so like triple that is a bit over um, 5 days, and that would have been perfectly fine. So, you know, 3% of my life spent on WoW over 6 months is not, to me, a huge amount. But what I ended up doing is five days played over 
like 700, 800 something days. So yeah, that has a very small commitment. Um, and I think it speaks to also though, just so truth be told, all things considered, I think I enjoy vanilla WoW, classic WoW more than modern WoW. The main reason being, I think, is because it's familiar to me. I think it's the nostalgia factor. I, I mean, it's a good game. I'm not saying classic or vanilla is a bad game. But I think the nostalgia and the familiarity I have with it is something I really enjoy. And I think that makes it really easy for me to jump into it because I know what I'm going to do. Every time I go in, I'm like, all right, I'm level 24. I'm going to go to Hillsbrid. You know, like I know every spot to level for myself, just about. I don't know everything about the game, but I'm very comfortable knowing where I want to go with my character, what I need to do to make them stronger, all these things. And is there one of those jars in there? I'm trying to look for more of the idols. That's what I really need more than anything. Oh, it's, I need to go back this way. But on this character, I, every step of the way, I've felt a little unsure. Like, oh, is this what I should be doing? Is this... And it's somehow... I just have this fear, like, oh, I'm... I'm making the wrong choice, even though it's not really a wrong choice, but I'm making an inefficient choice or a wrong choice. I need to think about what I want to do instead of just knowing it. And I think that makes it a little harder for me to get into. And I don't think it's anything wrong with the game itself. That's more on me. And I do enjoy it, just to be clear. I've actually had a lot of fun doing this. It's been really fun seeing all the cool stuff along the way. Um, just seeing how the game has changed. Um, but I, I think that's a big factor. I think at the end of the day... I'm just not as comfortable with it, and it makes it a little bit harder. I'm looking for two more of the offerings. I think there's some of this probably up here. It makes it a little bit harder for me to um, get into it every day when I'm sitting down in the morning. I like just woke up, I'm like all right, I want to play some WoW. I'm like I could play vanilla, then I could go grind out a bunch of level or like one level in the course of the next five days because I know what I want to do, um, even though it takes forever. Or I can play Modern WoW well where I'm not sure what I want to do and it's hard for me to tell what leveling does for me. Like it doesn't, a lot of times I think the other thing is leveling doesn't feel as satisfying. I, I definitely feel strongly that leveling does not feel as satisfying as in Classic. And that's one of the things that I find leveling isn't, doesn't do much for me, unfortunately. Um, that's one of the, probably the biggest things, <laughs> to be honest, it's one of the biggest complaints I have about Modern WoW well, is leveling doesn't feel like it's important. Um, it just seems like the whole point of leveling is to max out, and for someone that's taken two and a half years to do it, I think that's probably, in some way, maybe some of the reason why... I don't know. Um, let's do this. But, I, I feel like I'm ragging on the game. I've had a lot of fun. It's been a blast. I'm really happy with that I've done this. I wish I'd done it faster, to be honest. Because, I am excited to hit max level. Like, it's really cool. I'm hyped for that. Um, all right, there's my jar. Do I say there's a second one in here? Let's hope. Yes, cool. So we're done with these quests. But, yeah. So I'll explain more about my overall thought about this whole thing next episode. I'm going to really go into a lot as I'm as I'm dinging. Um, I guess we have to do our turn over here. Let's kill this guy. Um, we're not done with this episode just yet, but I want to quickly uh, thank my Patreon supporters, especially Luke D, Chris S, and Timothy B. They're my top tier supporters, so they always get... A super special shout out um, by name in pretty much all my videos. But everyone else, I'm also super appreciative of their support and uh, their commentary in my Patreon Discord. It's always appreciated. So, what am I looking for here? So, let's go over here, turn in both these quests. I'm gonna get pretty close to dinging and then I'm gonna end the episode. And then we'll come back next episode and finish that up. Oh, it's a third one here. Let's get that guy. I do love all the AoE I have as a warlock. That's one of the things I've most enjoyed. Like Reign of Fire, Cataclysm, um, Channel Demon Fire is essentially AoE because of Cataclysm. Those are all... I've had a lot of fun dropping all that down on people. Is this aggro if I walk by? I don't think it does. It's sleeping. Yeah. So when did I actually start this series? I want to check that real quick before I get too much further. Um, what's the first episode called? A Worgen Warlock is born. It's got to be me. This was first published June 27th, 2017. 
89,000 views. Okay, June 27th. Wow. Wow, that's a long time. 2017. <laughs> Alright, let's turn to the quests. Know that feeling when something's amiss and you can't quite figure it? It's exhilarating. Okay, I think it... Alright. Right. Meet with Captain Conrad at Tolvor in Nazmir. Looks like there's a couple of guards posted by this hut. If I had to guess, Captain Conrad will be in there. Something still feels off about this place, though. Why don't you go on ahead and I'll hang here in case things go south fast. I got your back. Okay. So I think I'm going to go this way. So how do I get up to where I want to go? I think I want to go here. I'm so glad you got my back there, Bron Mr. Bronzebeard. <laughs> it's like, I got your back. He's just hanging. Sure. Sure. Okay, Karen. <laughs> no, but for real. I, uh... Is he still hanging over there? Yeah. He's so helpful. What's he doing? Hmm. I'm gonna whack this guy. And whack. Okay. Here we go. Captain Conrad. Oh, what's this? I'll take that potion. It's only, oh, it's a one minute buff. I didn't realize how short that buff was earlier. I knew it disappeared pretty quickly, but I didn't realize it was really a minute. I was wondering when you would come for me. I must admit that I am not as captive as you might believe. Quite to the contrary, in fact. Okay. Learn of Captain Conrad's progress. When I arrived here in disguise, the blood trolls thought me some sort of messenger of their blood god. I seized the advantage and played into their primitive beliefs. I came here intending to open trade and learn how we can work with them against the horde. Something more compelling happened, okay. I follow Captain Conrad, I'm suspicious of this a little bit, but sure. Still in like a hundred thousand experience. I should probably be reading this out loud. Sorry, I was like reading along, but kind of doing stuff, but I wasn't reading out loud. Here, let me show you what I have learned, okay? I just got, I was playing with Panicum. It sounds like a euphemism, but I just, I really mean I was playing with Panicum. This Zandalari will be sacrificed the furtherance of our power. We will continue our, what are you looking at me like that for? Do you not approve? Whoa! Whoa, look at me. I'm like, whoa, that's gross. For killing this person now. That was weird. I was not expecting any of that. <laughs> I'm just like, holy. Um. Oh no. I lost the. I bumped it off. Should probably finish killing this mob before I get too distracted. Can Bronzebeard die? Probably not. These stay on by little clips. And little lights are just like, there's like built-in batteries, and you pull like little one of those little pull tab things when you get it, and then that's it. And then once you pull the pull tab, you press it, there's a button on the bottom, turns on the light, and that's, what a whack job. I'll meet you back at Fort Victory. Let me get out of this dark place before they all come for us. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? So anyway, um... They're kind of nice. They're like fifteen or ten dollars. They also come with some like ornaments that aren't flashy ones, but I thought the LEDs would be more fun. Um, I look so stupid. <laughs> I'm like looking at it right now. <laughs> like I look so goofy. Um, what is this talent? Yeah. Oops. Okay. So I'm getting out of here. So the plan is. Um, what was this? I got distracted by this. Um, I got wildly distracted by that event. I, I was so shocked. I just didn't expect that. I really did not expect that. And like at all, even remotely. And I'm still like, huh, that just happened. Can I get over that? I cannot get over that. That's sad. What is that? Oh, it's another one of those idle things. Okay, that's fine. Don't really need that. Let's go this way. 
cool. Yeah, yeah, so... I probably will take the beard lights out for the next episode. But yeah, they're kind of fun, I like them though. I wish they showed up a little bit better. Like I said, it's a little bit, they're getting kind of washed out a little bit, but they're kind of fun. That was a rare spawn. Scout Crestness. Interesting. Sure, let's do it. The name is Sethrek Empire. Okay. Sure. I might as well, uh, Mortal Coil. I don't use Mortal Coil. I always say this. I never use it enough. It's such a good spell. I love Mortal Coil. I've had so much fun just randomly casting that thing. Um, I just wish I would use it more. There was probably like a 20 episode span where I forgot about it. Almost assuredly. There's so many skills I forget about this character for a variety of reasons. But, yeah. That's, that's, that's probably well known for anyone that watches this series. <laughs> so... My apologies in advance for my repeated failures at playing a Warlock, but I've had fun, which is probably what I really should care about, and it probably is what I mostly care about. Um, Alright, got ourselves a rare spawn. Um, Alright. I wonder if this is like the end of this part of this war campaign? It feels like it's kind of getting close to, to wrapping up. I don't know that's how beaten down the structure was until I ran back over here. Where is... Oh, there it is. I'm done. Alright. Dreadful business, Superlock. I was set on a rescue or corpse recovery to see one oh, our own that for gone was unsettling. What's done is done. I'll send a report back to Halford. Travel safe. Oh, hey, Superlock, over here. The matter than a murloc on Moon Mead. Mead? Mead. Try to sacrifice our lovely warlock here to some blood god called Gathun. Oh dear, that is much worse than I feared. My deepest apologies for putting you in such a risky situation, Sir Bronzebeard. Eh, not the worst I've seen. Still a sad story, though. We'll need to let the High Commander know what transpired. Hey, we're gonna get John J. Kishen. Kishan. Is this the Kishan that's in, um... Oh, what zone is that? Red Ridge Mountains? I feel like that's a guy that's a captured in Red Ridge Mountain. He, like, rescue in vanilla. I think that's true. Alright, what has Bronzebeard got? Return to Halford on the Wind's Redemption, Borales Harbor. Desha Storm, Wallow can give you a ride. Okay. Okay. So we did wrap that up. That's cool. Very, very cool. Let's do that. Great to meet ya. Takes back to Borales. Which one am I? See, like, I don't know if you can like, tell. It's like red. It's really, really hard to see it, to be honest. So that probably should go. We got green, red, green, red, green. So maybe it's further. Here. It's kind of overlapping. That's okay. We'll be cool with that. Alright, let's turn this in. The, Horde will... the land of Nazmir are cruel. The lands of Nazmir are cruel to all who enter, but Fort Victory shall stand firm in the face of danger. Well done, Superlock. By the light. You're welcome. Nazmir Foothold. Completed. Cool. So where is Reach level 120. So what I was working on here what is my last chapter? The Shadow over Angle Point. Point wharf. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's uh take a peek over there. Actually, hold on. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's do this. This should be okay. I'm gonna check out something down here real fast. I thought there might be. I saw another quest here. News from the front. Retrieve the dagger of Matol Dagor, Master Cave from Overseer. Corgus. Okay. 
I'm just gonna hold on to that quest for later, actually. Now, what I wanna do is get to the Flight Master. Portal's over there, Flight Master's over this way, if I remember right. I finally figured out the town reasonably well. Yes, perfect. Flight Master. So. I was like, where's the Flight Master? Someone was on it, and I was like, I can't get to it. Okay. So when we land, what we're gonna do. I think. I always wanted to zoom in more here. I think. Angle Point Wharf is almost assuredly the next chapter quest, but I wonder which of these three I should do. I'm like tapping my kneecap really hard if you hear a thunking sound. So I'm, I'm also, I'm just, I'm really excited at 120. We have one and a half bars of rested XP left. That's going to go really fast. I mean, honestly, it's probably... If I just want to go grind out mobs, I'll probably be done in 10 minutes, probably 20 minutes if I'm just taking my time questing. Um, I think I'm going to get down to about one bar left and then start doing some quests and stop the episode. And then next episode I'll start up and I'll start chatting away, just kind of like normal, talking about things while I'm, uh, man, I'm getting like, I was like teary eyed thinking about it. I just like, this has been a long, it's just, think about all the things you've done in your life. How many things have you started and finished? Finish. I mean, I'm going to do more after this. Two and a half years later. Like, there's not that many things in my life that I started and spent two and a half years working on. So, that's pretty cool for me. I mean, I, I'm going to say working is even the right word. I mean, I had a lot of fun. I was playing a game. <laughs> like, you know, so. Alright. Save our shipments. Alright. Capture. Alright. And a bonus objective. That'll be a lot of experience. That's cool. All right, free six enthralled sailors in Fog Cliff Strand, and find the precious cargo in Fog Cliff Strand. Okay, what is this quest over here? I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna get that chest that's behind us too. Kill Anna Musa. Okay, can make that happen. And the Musa, that's a cool name. <laughs> you hear that siren in the background? I'm expecting that to happen as I'm like dinging 120. That'd be so sad. Like, come on. Give me a break. Let me enjoy my ding in peace. I mean, every time I think about sirens, I'm like, oh, it's so annoying that ambulance is going by. And then in my head, I'm like, man, that's pretty selfish. Someone's probably squirrel of the depth. Someone's probably in trouble, and I should just be grateful that I'm not the person that that ambulance is driving towards or carrying along, you know? So I do kind of have that little bit of guilt every time I feel a little upset because of noise from an ambulance, right? Like, they're doing their job, and they're, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Lightning Nova? That's, that's scary. Can I interrupt that? That's probably a good thing. Oh, I should probably get in that when he's casting that next time, as opposed to letting him cast it on me. I'm guessing it's a protective bubble that keeps him from, like, one-shotting me with that thing. What do we get? Ooh. Squirrel's Deepstone Wand. Not really an upgrade, but kind of cool. Added it to my appearance box. Toy box. Wardrobe. Um, Transmog collection. Oh, there's a chest over here, too. Let's grab that. 25,000 experience. Okay. We're going to stop here. I'm one bar away with rested XP. I really, for people that are watching this video are probably the people that have been following this series for a long time. Um, my guess is that the next video, depending on how well I title it and thumbnail it and promote it, which I don't really promote videos much, but I might post that around to Reddit or a few things. That video may get a lot more views. Um, and if it doesn't, that's fine. I think I've made it pretty clear by now that I'm not digging for views. If I was, I probably would not be making Let's Plays of a game that's a year old, um, doing boring, boring solo player stuff like this. Um, but I just want to say that I do appreciate everyone that kind of stuck through this long series. I feel like you guys are the ones that were the most, like I said, whoever's watching this part of this video, you're probably the people that were 
sticking around through all like the doldrums of boring zones or me just uploading one episode every two weeks, you know. So I appreciate that. That's all. I just I just want to say thank you. Um, the next episode is going to be a lot of like some retrospective discussion for me about what I liked, what I didn't like. And it's going to be kind of off the cuff. I haven't planned it all out. So it might be a little rambly, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so I just wanted to thank you guys specifically. Uh, anyway, can't believe we're almost here. That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.